Hi and welcome to Tabletop Mini Showcase. I'm Jim and in this video I thought we could take a look at a gift I recently made for my favourite YouTubers. Let's get to it. As I assume all of you guys do, I absolutely love the YouTube channel Eons of Battle. I watch it the way most people watch the news. Complete naked with a glass of Pims in one hand and three 12 inch talking Hulk Hogan action figures in the other. Brother, brother, brother. We all do that, right? Right? <laughs> Their fantastically enthralling content and frankly mystifying work ethic has kept me entertained for years. And amongst their many, many joyously captivating videos, one particular upload stands out to me for the way it made me smile from ear to ear. Like I'd slept with a coat anchor in my mouth, or when I saw boobies for the first time. The day that I am referring to is the day that they featured on their channel the Eons of Battle Squid Mage Mini that I had painted. On that magnificent day, I got to see my favourite YouTuber complimenting a paint job that I had done, which to this day is one of the coolest experiences of my life and stands right up there with the time I discussed stickle bricks with King Charles. And that one time, I saw boobies for the first time. The hills are alive with the sound of music. It genuinely was super cool of the guys to show me love like that, especially considering that I've been an absolute numpty and ordered the mini from their American site instead of getting it from the distributor that they had designated for worldwide distribution. Oopsie! Despite me doing that, the guys never complained or made any kind of fuss about it, and considering their presumably hectic work schedule, they still managed to get the mini out to me faster than many deliveries I've had from here within the UK. Absolute machines! So in order to show my gratitude, I figured the best way to say thank you would be to send them an Eons of Battle inspired display piece. Ah, mini painting. The language that both English and Americans can speak. We say aluminium, you say aluminium, we say say it properly, you say no. Now, as you can see from the Eons of Battle channel logo, Jay collects Necrons and Nick collects Orcs and both of them have very specific aesthetics to their army. Jay has white necrons with orange eyes and power weapons and bases that have Martian style rocky orangey red formations. He also paints the base rims of his necrons grey, while Nick has blue orcs that are pirate themed from an ocean world. Now I haven't seen as much of Nick's army, but from what I have seen he has some of his minis based as though they are on a beach and the colours of the clothing seem to be very subtle desaturated types of colour. These were things that I knew I needed to check off when building a list of things to incorporate into my design and further than that there were things I knew I wanted to include purely just to make the guys smile. For instance, Jay has a bit of a tendency to collect things. He has a Chaplin collection that has minis from all different eras and he has several Necron Scarab Swarm minis from different editions as well as a bunch of out of production minis so I think it's safe to say he likes to have different iterations of the same minis and he likes to celebrate the quirkiness of the older models. Also if a mini has an arm from a different kit he doesn't get bummed out thinking this isn't a perfect representation of the original instead he gets hyped that he has something different so I very much wanted to incorporate that into the mini that I chose for him. Nick's tastes are a little more difficult to pin down as he spends a lot less time on camera and so I had to guess a bit more as to things I think he might enjoy. Since his orcs are pirate themed that suggests to me that he'd enjoy having a mini that's really old like Rogue Trader era as early as possible vintage GW 
as minis like that are kind of like the equivalent of old treasure. They represent a time past that just has an inherent presence, that demands respect, kind of like an old sea dog that has battled more waters than a pissed up mate that claims they ain't drunk. So for the minis, I settled on painting an old Space Crusade android with a kitbash Necron gun for Jay, and an old Rogue Trader era orc with a chainsaw that has a kind of Spanish rapier style handguard for Nick. The Necron was a pretty basic paint job as I just wanted it to be really bright and white with the only area that really has any detail to be the gun where there is this really interesting transition from a deep red to a bright yellow. I did allow some of the red pigment powder from the base to spread to the lower leg as I feel like that always helps the mini to blend into its surroundings but other than that I kept the paint working style quite subtle. The base was made using bark chips as it makes for a really Really nice rocky looking terrain and I added a bit of sand and some grass tufts to match the bases with the rest of Jay's army. Nick's orc actually required quite a bit more thought as the bright blue skin could have resulted in him looking like a clown fiesta if I'd gone too bright with the rest of the paint. So I tried to give him subtle tones with desert camouflage as though he was ready to hide on the beaches stealthily waiting to launch an attack. I also used a lot of brassy colouring for the metals which always evolved a nautical vibe to me. For the base I glued a few pistachio shells down and added some filler with sand glued over that to give it the look of an uneven sandy beach. I also added some pale pigment powder to give it a bit of a dusty appearance. The display stands I built primarily from cardboard. I'll be doing a step by step guide on how to make these display stands for my next video so be sure to subscribe if you want to learn how to make cool looking display stands from materials that you'd probably otherwise just throw in the trash. I continued the basing style from the miniatures so that they look like they are in a little bit of a natural surrounding and for the backdrop I decided to use the Eons of Battle logo rather than having any kind of realistic world painting as I wanted the models to have a connection that brings the two together and allows for them to appear unified while still different. This way they can be placed together or apart and still feel like there is a link between the two. Whenever I paint old hammer minis like these I'm always reminded of just how improvisational the composition can be as the hand sculpted imperfections make things like edge highlighting and smoothness something we simply can't rely on. Instead we have to approach the paint job with a loose idea of focus using whatever painting method necessary to ensure that the attention is held where we want it and that flaws in the sculpt can be hidden or disguised. The experience is really quite different to painting modern minis and it can be a great exercise in understanding the importance of consistency and balance when it comes to things like colour selection, the application of techniques and the way we control an observer's attention. With modern minis the painting process is deeply considered and computer aided design makes the process a lot more straightforward for people to use the techniques they know with confidence they will work but when faced with these older minis you have to consider that for instance some areas of the armor and solid areas will take edge highlighting really well whereas other areas are just sculpted in a way that prevents it from being done and so understanding the mini as a whole and only using techniques that you know you can apply consistently is incredibly important in regards to the bigger picture. This may sound stressful or like a lot of work but when your stability is shaken you learn to adapt and develop an intuitive approach that isn't reliant upon systems and specific techniques. You simply go with the flow and allow the journey to influence the destination with a sense of fluidic acceptance. As Bruce Lee wisely once said, empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. You put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend.
I hope you guys have had fun taking a look at these minis with me and I hope that maybe it's inspired some of you to try painting something a little bit different from your usual selection. If it has, please tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see the things that you guys are working on. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. It helps me to help you to help yourselves to improve. And if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads, go ahead and hit the little notification bell. Here are a couple of other videos if you're looking for something else to watch. And until next time, in a bizzle. Action!